Anyway, you better ask me questions because I'll just keep talking. The reason I keep talking is because I don't want to go into deep meditation. I want to stay with you. I'm just being drawn back, tempted to go into that. I don't want to do that. I know what's back there. Nothing. I'd rather be with you in this bondage. I'd rather be in suffering. It's more fun. That's why it all arose. That's why the Maya appeared to have fun. It was too lonely the other way. Shiva said, I can't bear this. And Shakti said, okay, I'll take care of that. <laughs> so she wove all this Maya. She says, how's this? He said, eh, it's okay. <laughs> and then slowly Shiva becomes more fascinated and then he dives right in and he gets lost in it with everybody else. Read the Vedic myths. It's all about this. It's all about the fact that there's this polarity in creation between the play and the silence. And each one is always trying to overwhelm the other. <laughs> Woe to him or her who takes it seriously to think there's really a way out of suffering. That's beginner's talk. There is a way out, and you've got to find out what it is. You have to know where it leads and what its implications are. And then you have to exhaust that approach and understand that you must have this as arising, not just as descent, just descending into it, descending away from relativity, but you have to also have this as relativity is arising. It won't be complete. But for that to happen, you have to be free from every spiritual path, every spiritual strategy, every spiritual game. This is something that gets revealed directly to a human being without any blinders.